Well, I told my wife I was pretty amazed. A husband, a dad, a veteran. Uh, I was in the Army and Army National Guard a total of 16 years. And his ink, well, it starts telling his story. That's for the time I was in Iraq. The skull and the boots, the empty boots. This right here is a soldier's cross. Eric went to Iraq with his father's words branded on his brain. My father, you know, one of the, he's probably one of the person, or he is the person I respect most in my life. And his father's words? He said, son, he goes, you've got 11 guys. He said, make sure you bring them all back. And that's the last thing he told me. <clears throat> and they didn't all come back. They didn't all come back. They didn't all come back. I feel guilty because I'm here. Survivor's guilt and the nightmares. I've woke up numerous times hitting my wife or just hitting, you know, obviously she's laying there. Or just in cold, cold sweat. I can't tell you how many times we've had to change the sheets because it's like a, just a puddle of water. But when the doctors told him you have PTSD. They've tried de tons of medicine with me and a long time ago I'd throw it right in the trash can. Since then, nothing has helped, nothing. But then Eric heard about Canines for Warriors, a nonprofit here on our first coast. They match custom trained service dogs to warriors with PTSD. And that takes us back to the chair. Now Eric is here talking with me about tough stuff and his dog Gumbo under strict command. So, stay. Gumbo's feet, you see, glued to the ground always obeys. But watch now. Eric's remembering the doctor saying, you have PTSD and you need help. Oh, I'd get mad. I'd get, you know, extremely ugly words come out of my mouth and told them, you know, just because they open a book, they just can't, they can't put that stigma on me of what supposedly, you know, I have just because what that's what their books say and stuff like that. I was like, there has to be, you can tell, get a little agitated. Gumbo senses Eric's upset even before Eric realizes it. Amazing instinct and the power to stop panic attacks and tackle PTSD. You feel more optimistic? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, a lot more optimistic. It is hope, a new hope, and that's critical when you consider this from the VA.